Don't you open up that window Don't you let up that window What's up guys? So as you can see, I got up really early this morning and cooked my breakfast. Now typically, I don't really cook a big breakfast in the morning. Uh, I normally don't eat till about 10 o'clock. Now you guys may or may not know this. I used to intermittent fast uh, back when I was like really trying to cut and lose as much body fat as possible. But as you guys know, I'm in a new workout program right now. The goal is to get bigger, the goal is to get stronger. And the only way to get stronger is to lift heavy weight, build muscle, and the only way to build muscle is you gotta eat. Now, again, I'm not trying to get really bulky and gain a lot of fat. I'm trying to build muscle, but at the same time, stay lean. So for breakfast, as you can see, I had three whole eggs with about, I would say about half a cup of spinach and then a whole big avocado. Look at that, man. Just massive amount of food, good, healthy fats. And to top it off, I went ahead and did one scoop of keto meal, as you can see. Just to um, kind of up the fats a little bit, I always have a problem getting my fats up during these full day of eatings. I don't plan any of my food, so I pretty much just go and buy something that I would typically buy. And at the end of the day, every time it's time to like add up the macro, I'm always like, crap, I'm way over protein and I'm not high enough on fat. I will not make that mistake on this one, I promise. Like I said, that's why I went ahead and added the one scoop of keto meal just to get the fats up. One scoop is 17 grams of fat, so that will help the fats get up. Also with this breakfast, I'm gonna add some pink Himalayan salt and then always add some pepper. I gotta scarf this down, head to work. Today is leg day. I got a comment from one of my subscribers saying, hey, do you ever work out leg day? And I said, yeah. And he said, well, I've been going through your videos and I can't find one. And I said, hmm, that is a good question. I don't remember the last time I recorded a leg day, but yes, I do work out leg. Actually, the last leg day workout was absolutely like intense. It was the most intense uh, leg workout I've ever done. Um, I was actually failing. I haven't done a squat session where I actually fell and like the bar like has to hit the safety bars. Anyways, not gonna talk about it. You'll see it later on in the day. But this is the first meal of the day. So everybody just sit back, relax, and enjoy this full day of eating like a bodybuilder. What's up everybody, it's lunchtime and I got some food that I picked up at the grocery store yesterday that I need to cook. It's pretty much becoming like my like favorite food during this like, what do you really wanna call this like power building uh, keto gains that I'm doing. Uh, pretty much what it is, it's zucchini like spaghetti, but with um, obviously 85, 20 ground beef and um, with some very light uh, spaghetti sauce. And it's just like a really good meal. It has tons of volume. Um, and it tastes freaking delicious and it almost tastes exactly like spaghetti without all those crazy bad carbs So we're gonna walk inside and get to cooking Alright guys, so as you can see I'm only gonna eat half of this uh, zucchini spaghetti I'm gonna use the second half for later. I normally typically always eat it at one one serving but I'm not gonna eat 16 ounces of ground beef. I'm just, just way too much meat and it'll screw up all my protein macros. And remember, at the beginning of this video, I said I have to get my fat macros. Every time I do a full day of BD, my protein's way too high, so I will not make that same mistake. I'm only gonna do five ounces of this uh, ground beef half of this zucchini and then again i gotta get the uh, kind of light spaghetti sauce eat this up head back to work and then we got a leg session after work which i am really excited to show you guys because a lot of people think i don't train legs and i have a really good feeling that this leg workout is gonna be intense so i'm gonna need to eat 
Okay, so uh, last time I made this recipe, a lot of people were asking about what tomato sauce I use for the spaghetti. And uh, this is the one I use. It's pretty much uh, simply ba balanced, I believe, and you can get it at Target. Now, there are better um, like tomato sauces, I would say. This one's actually not that bad. It's five grams of carbs, one gram of fiber. So pretty much only four grams of net carbs per six, uh, 62 grams. And I don't always use 62 grams. I think I always find that about 30 to 40 grams of this is plenty for one bowl of this zucchini spaghetti so you don't need the whole full 62 so really you're only getting like really only three grams of carbs and you really can't go like you can't get much better than that all right time to eat i'm also going to add one of this power aid zero uh, you know, I always talk about this. It's very important to get your electrolytes in, very important to get your sodium, potassium, and this is jam packed with it. So, um, and it's keto friendly. It's not gonna knock you out of ketosis. At least in my opinion, it's not gonna knock you out of ketosis. So I definitely recommend you get some of these Power 8 Zeros. Always drink about one to two a day. So that's what I'm gonna have for my drink for lunch. But man, look at this zucchini spaghetti, man. Look at that. I've literally, like, this has become better than spaghetti. I know a lot of you are like, whoa, 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 look, you're, you're, you're talking crazy now. Nothing better than real spaghetti. Zucchini, to me, I just, like, really love the crunch. I mean, spaghetti's good and all, but, I mean, spaghetti's, like, slimy, it's soft. I don't know, something about, like, the crunch of the zucchini just makes it taste so much better. And then probably knowing that it's a lot healthier. Here it is, going in for the first bite. It is leg day. Uh, this video has been requested by the most as of like the past like two weeks. People are like, hey, when are you gonna do leg day? When are you gonna do leg day? And I don't record every day, guys, uh, just because when we come to the gym, it's kind of hard to record. Uh, someone's always gotta be spotting someone. You know, if he's not spotting me, I'll spot him. And I hate setting up the camera and getting like, what you just uh, kind of like a standstill uh, video. I hate that. I like to get motion. I like someone to like grab the camera and kind of like walk around and get some good cinematography. Obviously, we can't do that. But that's not going to stop this leg day workout. Um, we're going heavy. Last week we went up and up and up, and I think on the last, my last exercise I failed. But it's going to be fun because, like I said, we're starting off pretty heavy, at least for me. Uh, once uh, Cruz gets here, we'll get the numbers, we'll talk, discuss the workout, and then we'll dive right into it. So uh, let's get it. All right, guys, Cruz just got here, so he's going to go over the workout. He has the numbers, so uh, let's go. All right, so we're going to start off by doing back squats. Uh, then the front squats, and then we're gonna end off on Romanian deadlifts. Okay, what I end up with last time? Last time on back squat, you're at 355. And then on front squats, you're at 265. And then on Romanians, you're at 265 as well. Woo! This should be fun.
Alright guys, so me and Isaiah are about halfway through our leg workout and I just like out of nowhere just started cramping up everywhere in my stomach, in my calves, in my biceps, like especially on this uh, front squat. Um, every time I'd come down, like my biceps just like wanted to cramp up. And so I don't know if you can see in the video, like every time I'd come up, I'd kind of like bring my hand out and kind of like stretch it out just to get that cramp out. But I'm absolutely struggling. Like I think I can do the weight. Okay, I was at 275 and I did four reps pretty easy uh, with no problem. It's just the cramping. So again, I'm just gonna stop. I'm gonna learn my lesson. Again, guys, you know I hurt myself last Saturday by just being stupid, wanting to keep lifting. I'm not gonna do that. For some reason, my body's cramping up. It's obviously giving me a sign. My body's obviously telling me something. Hey, I didn't drink enough water. I'm not sure what I did. I kind of just need to go back home, kind of think about everything I ate. What did I drink? How much water did I drink? And kind of, uh, I don't know, get more salt in. I'm not sure. But uh, as far as the weight, the weight felt pretty good. New PR and uh, squat, new PR and uh, front squat. And next week, I'll be hydrated and I'll make sure I'm going to get all three sets for sure. So uh, yeah, we're going to see one last exercise. So let's get it. As soon as I get home, I'm going straight to the refrigerator. I'm opening up the pickle jar. I may have one pickle, but I might just drink all that damn pickle juice. Cause I got cramps in my foot, my calves, my biceps, my back, my stomach. Just doesn't feel good. I'm heading straight to that freaking pickle jar. Now I'm drinking me some damn pickle juice. Ooh, shoot, man. Crap, crap, crap. <laughs> leg days are so fun. All right guys, so leg day is over with. Um, we're gonna kind of just go over a recap of the leg day workout and tell you how we felt, everything that happened and, and whatnot. Cause we can't normally, we, we're not gonna film the whole like 30 minute workout footage, you know? So we just kind of get bits and pieces and everything. So our first exercise was squat, right? Right, back squat. Back squat and I hit, what did I hit my first set? Was His first set, I believe it was at 355, hit that six times. 355. Hit, hit that, that for six, six. then we went up to 365, and I got that up three or four times. I think it was like three or four unspotted, and then two spotted. Yeah, I think two. And then I also left that in the clip. So two of them, you saw that I'm just absolutely struggling, like absolutely miserable. Um, but that's what it takes. Like that's what you're gonna need to do to get stronger. Like when someone's pushing you, like those last two reps, those are the reps that are gonna make you stronger. And uh, yeah, and then I felt really good. For squat like i felt really good and then once we got to front squat is when it just all went downhill body just full body started to cramp everywhere toes uh stomach biceps and again i probably didn't put it in this clip but again i had to keep like i had to i do the front squats once and then had to redo it again second set did it once had to redo them again just cramping up too much but i kept fighting through it and then i think finally on that third round i was like you know what i just yeah, I better stop we're done <laughs> yeah because i did hurt myself on saturday i don't know if you, if you guys know that or not saturday at nick's bears gym I kind of went off program. We weren't supposed to be lifting that day. We weren't supposed to be deadlifting. And he didn't even text me to ask for his numbers. No, I didn't. So I he didn't. Shot really high. I didn't. And there was a reason why I didn't text Cruz for the numbers. Because one, I didn't want him to know I was working out. And two, I didn't want you to know I was working out. <laughs> so because I knew we weren't supposed to. And so um, anyway, so I kind of just went off what I thought I could do. And long story short, I ended up messing up my bicep. And yeah, so my body's all messed up right now. So I got to heal. Um, so as far as a recap, how did you feel about this workout? How did you feel? Leg days are always painful. I love them. I hate them because of the way it makes me feel afterwards, but I feel accomplished. Uh, I've been having like a little nagging, little lower back pain for the past couple weeks. So uh, I felt all right, 95%. Did 405 on back squat six times. Got to 415. It was like okay. Yeah, I think I think we <laughs> both I think we both felt good on back squats, and then right when we got to front squats, I think our body was just wrecked. Yeah. And then with front squats, the. 
for me, I'm able to go a little lower. It keeps my back straight up. Yeah. So I get to drop a little lower. And, you know, the lower you go, the harder it is going to be able to push back up. So yeah. those are like a killer for me. Like, I think halfway in the workout, I was like, dude, we're only halfway. Yeah, yeah, no. I remember you asking me. You're like, what set are we on? I'm like, we're halfway done. And we're like, dude, we're already beat. One funny thing I didn't catch on film, during uh, Cruz's last set on squat, um, he, he's a lower back squatter, or whatever you call it, like low bar squatter. So the bar is like really low on his back. And I keep mine just kind of set on my traps. And so he was going down, he was struggling, and I saw the bar slipping, <laughs> but I couldn't like get under him. And one, it was like, I don't know, it was like, I, there's no way I could have pulled that up with my bicep. It was like 415, <laughs> I'm not gonna do anything. And he was like, it's slipping, it's slipping. And we were trying to get it on the bar, on the rack to rack it, and he just couldn't, he just let it go. And then again, like you've probably seen the memes on Instagram, you know, all the way goes this way, then all the way goes that way. That's why you use clips, but we yeah. were using I wasn't even mad about that. Yeah, yeah, I should use clips. But I wasn't even mad about that. I was like, damn it, we didn't get that on film. <laughs> Shit. Uh, but that was pretty yeah, funny. So pretty just to let you know, like, we are sometimes noobs. We do forget. So, uh, And yeah. my reasoning for that was because of my lower back. I was kind of like, oh, yeah. I want to stay straight up. So as I was standing straight up, it started going lower, lower, past yeah. my shoulder blades, and I was like, done. <laughs> that was a good nope. workout. I'm, I'm, I was actually pretty pumped to go into this workout. I, I, you know, I ate two big meals, as you saw before. Uh, I thought I drank plenty of water. I was ready to hit this workout, and I felt good after back squats. But man, as soon as my body started cramping up, I just knew it was just all going downhill. So again, first thing I do when I get home, I'm gonna just get some electrolytes in me, I'm gonna get some pickle juice in me, and try to stop these cramps. But I felt good. I'm looking forward to the next squat day, because I will be hydrated on that next one. Because I stopped at 265 on front squat, I think? Uh, 275, you 275. 265. Okay, 265. I could have got 275 for six if my body was cramping. I know I can, I felt it. I felt the weight. I got four sets. Easy. I know I had two more in me. But again, you'll find out on episode whatever, next leg day. But that was fun, man. It'll be a big difference from this this workout. Oh, it's going to be both huge. both are going to be way up. So yeah, it'll be huge. It'll be exciting. That was fun, man. <laughs> it's time to eat. Yeah, time to eat, man. All right, brother. Later. Until next time. Peace. All right, so one thing I didn't even get to eat, which you saw me take to work this morning, was this, uh, what is this called? Justin's Classic Almond Butter, some pecans, and some uh, uh, pumpkin seeds. I just didn't have time to eat these. So I'm gonna snack on these for a little bit. Crystal is currently asleep right now. So as soon as she wakes up from her nap, we'll probably grab some dinner or decide what I'm gonna do for dinner. Um, I don't wanna eat without her because if she does wake up and she wants to get something to eat, want to eat at least one meal a day with her. Oh uh, yeah, can I get your uh, Cobb salad? No Texas toast and no fried onions, please. And no tomatoes, please. All right, so as you guys can see, I got a salad from Zaspies. This is the Cobb salad. If you ever go there, just ask for no Texas toast, um, no tomatoes, I don't like tomatoes, and then no fried onions. And then everything else is pretty much keto approved. It comes with eggs, cheese, grilled chicken, and lettuce, and then you add this big thing, ranch. Bada bing, bada boom, you are good. Pretty good salad. Um, I'm gonna guesstimate the macros. I'll probably get online and check out what the macros are. But pretty sure I'll get pretty close. That's pretty much, I think, is going to be my last meal of the day when I get back home. Because as you can see, we're not at home. We're at my uh, in-laws house. I'm going to finish this, calculate the macros, and I'll see what else I can have. But I'm going to dig in, spend time with the family. We'll see you in a bit. <sighs> Alright guys, so we're going to wrap up the video like this. This video is already pushing towards like 20 minutes long, so let's, let's make it quick. Let's go over the macros first. So these are estimated macros, guys. Um, 114 grams of protein, 50 grams of carbs, but 26 of that was fiber, and then 146 grams of fat, which puts me at a grand total of around 1,900 calories. I say that because the cop salad was very hard to judge. I couldn't find it online, and so I had to just like guesstimate because the ones online come with like Texas toast, tomatoes, 
and the fried onions, which I didn't get, so it's kind of hard to like guesstimate it. But if you made it this far through the video, I just want to say thank you. It really does mean a lot to me. Uh, normally workout videos and full day of eatings can be like separate videos on their own, so when I try to mash them together, it's kind of hard for me to keep it under 20 minutes. But Ah, I did my best. So if you did like this video guys, give it a thumbs up. And if you have already guys, hit that subscribe button. What are you waiting for? As always, I love you. Peace.